Hi, good morning guys. So I'm here, I'm gonna do my first lesson. Hi, I'm Nicholas. I'm, a, I'm one of the instructors at Defensive Driving School and I'm here to give this new student an introduction about the vehicle itself. So, um, firstly, what can you identify on this vehicle here? Engine, anything else? Mm -hmm. That's it? Alright, no problem, that's good. So, engine here, as you know, right? This here is our lipstick. This is what they use to check the oil to see if you have sufficient oil or if the oil is bad, right? We are just driving so oil of the oil uh, shake up, shake up. So I have a cloth here, wipe it off. Good. And then we dip again to check to see if we have sufficient or if our oil is bad, right? And as you can see, let's peep up we're about here. See that? Mm -hmm. Yes, so if we're in this region here, it means that we have sufficient oil. Good, and it's not black, it's a little reddish color, right? So oil is good. So if you would need to pour oil for your vehicle, if you look and see that you're low on oil, here is your oil cap. This is where you'd pour your oil, right? And how you'd know when to service a vehicle or to apply oil for the vehicle. Maybe if you're doing any like long driving, for instance, here to be like a constant you know you'll service the oil or change the oil for every two months right good over here we have our brake fluid this is our brake fluid cap so brake fluid um for instance you're driving and you're pressing your brake you realize you're not getting anything out of it or you realize that the brake has go all the way down it probably means that you need to talk up on brake fluid or maybe a disc pads are bad right about that this one over here is for your windshield wiper. You pour water for your windshield wiper. Good. Mm -hmm. So, engine oil goes here, brake fluid goes here, water goes here. Um, if you can just look over to here now, you'll see two fans. Mm -hmm. See them? So, these are your radiator uh, that's attached to your radiator itself. So, radiator is what helps to cool down your engine. If the engine uh, overheats, the fans are kicking and help you assist in cooling down the vehicle. Right? Um, and same how you have oil. For those we have coolant for the radiator so we couldn't open this now if you notice it might never open when hot because the vehicle was just driving so pressure would just bust out so but if you need to pour coolant for your vehicle though you'd pour it here this is your reserve bottle if you notice the tube is attached to here yes so when driving you wouldn't just open here you can you know but you'd maybe have to probably get a cloth and gently open it slightly good this here now is your air filter so air filter is what prevents um, any dust or any debris from entering your vehicle itself. So we all this kind of dusty. Mm -hmm. Yes, I changed it recently and so we have a lot of dust in it. But um, you can simply go to a mechanic, no, not really a mechanic, an auto shop or birds or any other place and get an air filter and you can change this yourself. Instead of going to a mechanic and I'm going to charge one 30 grand. Wow. And you can simply do it yourself, right? It is good to know about your vehicle, especially when you're buying a new vehicle. It's good to know about your personal vehicle itself. And um, not all of the vehicle you find that maybe your filter is here or your brake fluid is there. You might find them in yeah, a different, different position. Cars, yes, all right. Um, so, engine dipstick here. We have our transmission oil over here. Good. So same how we have oh, a dipstick. Okay. Yes, same how we have a dipstick for our engine. This one is for a transmission. So same hole with a cloth, wipe it off, check to see if we have sufficient or if it is bad. Same, same reddish color. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the transmission oil is good. And how would you know if it's bad? Is it have a... Black. Oh. Yes, dark. Alright, um, this one over here is a transmission mode. This is what holds the transmission in place. So mm -hmm. this over here, this one over here is the engine now. This is what holds the engine in place. So this is just a basics about the vehicle which you can know, right? 
Um, we're going on the inside now to show you about the steering and all of that. Good. All right, so I'm closing this. So you can step around. So, key goes in ignition. Starting but not starting fully. If you can just look over to here, you'll see a few lights. What these lights look like to you? Uh, this is doing like a pipe. Pipe? <laughs> Something, <laughs> Something like what? It's an oil lamp. Okay. So that's it. Engine check oil. I oil lamp, right? One in the center is the battery. Mm -hmm. One at the top is the steering. One that disappear, switch it off and turn it on back. This one is the engine check light. Okay. Good. So if I should start my vehicle and any one of those lights would come up, probably means that something is wrong and you need to check it out, right? These over here are just your normal lights, which is telling me that my door is open currently. My seatbelt is not on and my handbrake is up. Good. This one is a handbrake. This hand one is this light. The circular one? one? Yes, handbrake. So if I should press this and release, it disappears, right? Pull it up back, reappears. Good. Seat belt is not on, and these ones are showing me that um, park reverse neutral drive, E3, 2, and 1. This is your gear lever. The gear lever tells you whichever gear you're in. As I mentioned, park reverse neutral drive, E3, 2, and 1. So 2 and 1 is to like go down or gear down. So for instance, you're going at an excessive speed, and you can manage that speed, you want to slow down. 2 and 1 will help you slow down. 3 will increase the speed. Good. So this here is our steering, the whole manoeuvre steering, call it 10 to 2 or 9 to 3, sorry, 9 to 3 or 10 to 2. Good. Notice how firmly I hold the steering. And when you're turning, if we're turning right or left, we indicate. This is your indicator. Push down, is to go right. Push up, is to go left. Good. So if I'm turning right, indicate, push in, pull in. Left hand push up, right hand pulls down. Good. Vice versa, if I'm going the opposite side, push, pull. Notice how firmly I still hold the steering. Some people hold it like this, which is not good, because if the steering should lose control, you don't have a firm grip on it. So, hence why you have a firm grip on it, right? This one over here is for your windshield wiper. Push up. I should pull to me, so the water comes out. Right. Good. This over here is your emergency or hazard light good so if there is an hazard in the road for instance you're driving and you notice like a kid is walking across the road so you turn on your hazard light so it will let anyone around you or behind you be aware that there's a hazard and they should not overtake right i should not drive fast good so so gas and brake now right the gas is on your far right just this one here Brake is in the center. At no point in time should you have one foot and yes and brake at the same time because we don't want it in a screenshot. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a rest over here for your left foot rest or the stump for your left foot rest. So your right foot controls both yes and brake. Not at the same time, but vice versa. Good. So what we will we be doing for today is a few turns to assess and see how you maneuver your vehicle. Right? You know what is the first rule of driving? First rule of driving? That is a good one, but no. The first rule of driving is keeping to the left at all times unless you're about to turn right. Good. Alright. So, do's and don'ts. We're trying for today not to jam our gas pedal or to press our brake or to jam the brake. Good. So we're treating this road here as a major road, you know, coming from a minor onto a major we'd have to stop and check. Good. Even though we don't have any vehicles now, but we still would have to stop and check, right? So we're turning right. Check, ensure it's cleared. Once it is clear, then you can go ahead. And you know that we're going on the left side of the road. Good. All the way over. Once you're over there, gradually take out this turn because if I should keep the turn in, I will keep going in the same direction. Good, so I have to take out the turn, 
Which wheel is straight, a certain wheel. Good. As I said, do's and don'ts we're trying for today, not to jam our gas pedal, speeding off like this, or our brake, brace yourself. Good. So you know it's them coming across discomfort. So if we're going at an excessive speed and you don't want to slow down, that will go down on the brake. Feel that smoother transition? Good. Alright. So, yes, we got the wheel going down on it. Good. Alright, so I'm going to step out now and you can come around. Um, I've really learned a lot so far because I didn't know that much about the engine and all the time I was the engine. Put your foot on the gas pedal, and foot on the brake. The so, if you look on your dashboard now, what is your dashboard telling you? Okay, good. Alright, what else are you seeing here? The handbrake is off. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to pull on the handbrake, you know, first to get yourself comfortable. Can you reach the gas and brake comfortably? Good. All right. So what I want you to do now is I want you to rest your foot on the gas pedal. Not now, but when you do, you notice this little arrow here looking like a clock. Mm -hmm. Yes, that will go up. I want you to keep it between one and two for five seconds. Good. Go ahead. The brake. That is the brake. The gas pedal. Mm hmm Between one and two, up a little bit more, right there. One, two, three, four, five. All right, after now. So that is how you keep a steady pace when driving. So if you're driving, you'll notice your speedometer will increase the speed moving from one to various. So if I say keep it between ten and five, you just keep it here, not over or below that. All right? All right, and break down. Press pull to your release. Good. Okay, the vehicle move off slightly a while ago. Foot should be on the brake. Good. All right, vehicle in drive. Good. Both hands don't move. Don't move. So now you're going to gradually come off the brake. Good. Go ahead. Nice and easy. We are going to turn right. Put on the indicator. Good. Going right around. Nice and slow. The folks some other turn. Good. Alright, more turns now. Nice and easy. Good. So keep on the left hand side now. On the left. You have this thing when you're natural, man. Nice and smooth going up. Try not to drift too far on your left. Good. And some gas now going up. So, seeing that now we have a vehicle on our left. Good. If you're on the road, you know you'll have to indicate. So, you start checking the mirrors, internal vehicles. Our vehicle is going to overtake you. Put on the indicator. Put on the indicator to your right. Mm -hmm. Then go around him. Good. Nice. Put on back your left indicator now. Show that you're going over. Good. Take off the indicator now. And you proceed driving. So we're treating this as a roundabout. So we're going right around this little grass area here. So you need to follow the road going around, nice and slow going around, not too early. 
start putting your turns no slow it down slow it down some more slow it down some more slow it down more break here you see that you need to put in more turns for here good because it's treating it as a runabout good you do now vehicle in reverse good a slight turn to your left you put some on the right turn more to your left more so on the back of the vehicle to swing left if I put in more to your left good back of the vehicle swing left and the face swings right go ahead go ahead break here it should be enough go ahead put in your turn to your right now more turns good vehicle in drive And some more turns while you go around and go ahead nice and smooth going around see a left turn coming up see the left turn coming up so you're going to take that left turn so gradually take out this turn now good i wanted to indicate left taking two left turns after this one i'm taking another left turn i remember treating this road here as a major road so you know coming from a minor onto a major Check physically. Once it is clear, you can proceed. Right here. So imagine these grass areas as walls. So you cannot see around them. So how will you proceed in this? How do you think you maneuver this? Cannot see around the walls, then what do you think you will maneuver? Um, to go out yes, good, so good. Yes, but not too much out. See, so gradually going out and you're looking the same way. You can see you lean forward. Good, good. That is it. Nice. Indicate left. Good. Go ahead now. Put in your turns. More turns to your left. That is your right. That is your right. That is your right. More to your left. More to your left. Yes, and you're keeping on the left side, remember. Good, ready to take out that turn now, all the way up. Taking this left turn here coming up. Go ahead. Slowly going around, nice and steady. More turns. Yes, going back this side. Gradually take out that turn. Then we're going right. So we're going right around and exit left. Let's put on the indicator. Good. Start putting your turn and the other one more turns. Nice and easy. Good. Nice. This is a much better turn. Then we're exiting left now, so gradually take all this turn, see a left turn coming up, good, nice, not a bad turn, right around to the left. Right yes, we're going right around this. So, are you seeing that suitcase and that pan over to that side? Yeah. Yes, it's like a, a curve. So, we're going to go in between that suitcase and that pan going down. See it over here, right in front of you. Oh, we're going here? Yes, right in front. Straight ahead. So, the suitcase and the pan, bucket. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going in between them. Check the road, check on the right and left. Check the road into the vehicle is coming. Then you can go ahead. Three more turns. Not bad. Gradually take out this. 
Look at those there. We're exiting left. You check the road on your right, ensure no vehicle is coming. Once it is clear, then you can proceed. And go ahead. You notice you have two curves on your left. On this side, you're going in the first one. What is the first one? Yes, the first one. Sit here. Where the stones are. Sit here, sit here. You missed it, you missed it. Go ahead. Yeah, man, you missed it. It's all right. Turns are not that bad. We're going all the way up. Just follow the curve going up here. See those two tires on that side? Yes. Yes, we are going through them. Keep going all the way up. On the left, see me. Okay, you can go ahead now. I don't want to take you too early. Good. Put some other turn now, not a bad one. Try to stay centered. So you check the mirrors on both sides, ensure you have even space. Notice here two close on the left hand side. Try to go to the left of that vehicle. Yes, we're going right. We're going to enter the second curve to so go up somewhere. Start putting a turn now. So slow it down so you have control. Slow it down somewhere. You want more turns. Break here. You want more turns. More turns. Good. Nice and smooth going around now. A bad turn. Gradually take out this now. Nice. Exit in left. Is the exit on the left? Yeah. Too close to the left. Exit in left and then we turn right. Too close. Take out some other turn. Good. Right, turning right. I'm going around this roundabout thingy. But you're right, but you're right. Yeah. And stay close to your left now. Going around, keep to your right, going around, keep to your right, keep to your right. We're exiting on our right, coming up. I was looking on the right hand side. I know, I know, you're looking on the right. <laughs>
I mean, you look on the right, it will show you off, honestly. I say focus on one side, right? Yeah. All right, go again. One more time, and then you have to watch it because the time is so All right. Yeah, why? Is it very different driving a car in comparison to an ATV? ATV, it's an ATV. The four wheel bike that have the handles. Oh, oh. May I not have, have a steering, but. Oh, you never drove I honestly never driven one, so I, I learned a lot of And you were very precise and knowledgeable. And I appreciate that. Alright. Yes, I would highly recommend. I would highly recommend coming to his driving lessons. And it will be pinned in the comment as well, so you can always hit him up. And he has an Instagram page as well as a Facebook page, so you won't be disappointed.